I'm Ms. Artastic and welcome to the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel because hey guys, I love them. I love to draw for you and that really helps me to make more videos for you. So in this video, our tutorial, we're going to be drawing this lovely little baby bird in a nest. It's extra cute. Extra cute! And we're going to be drawing it today. Uh, you can use anything you want to draw with. Uh, anything. Anything you want to draw with, any mark making medium, any mark maker, um, anything you want to color with as well, go for it. I'm just using some felt markers just because it looks really easy to see on a video camera. So I'm going to be doing that, but it gives you the option to use anything you want. That's why I do it as well. It gives you a lot of freedom of choice, and that's important when you're an artist. Um, as well, if you're looking for more full video art tutorials, make sure you head on over to ArtasticKids.com. It is your hub for kids at home wanting to learn how to make some art. I got a 666 membership there where you can access a huge library of different art lessons, hundreds of art lessons to stream on demand at home, wherever you are. So check it out, ArtasticKids.com. Link in the description below this video. And my friend, that with that being said, grab your favorite mark making mediums and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, so we're going to be drawing a lovely little bird's nest. So we're going to begin with a branch coming out from one side. And you can end it with a nice little couple parts kind of coming off there. And of course, it's a tree, so we're going to add some leaves on the end of that branch. And what I like to do on leaves is add some diagonal lines up the center. Give it some leaf texture, of course. Okay, go along the bottom of your tree branch and you can add some hatching lines. These are just some vertical lines that are going to make it seem like there is shading. So we are actually going to be shading with some line there. And it also, of course, gives it some nice texture. All right, we're going to draw our bird's nest. So we're gonna just map out where it's going to go with some dashed lines. And now let's build it. So we're gonna just simply start layering some pieces of sort of like rectangles. And we're imagining we are birds. We're gonna have use twigs to build our nest. And of course, they're gonna not be super perfect. We're gonna have little bits coming out here and there. Of course, because it's made out of all these different found objects and things, bits of twigs and hair. So we're gonna use twigs first and then we'll add some other textures coming out such as straw or whatever they decide to find. I've seen birds carry all kinds of things. So maybe we can add some little strings or hairs coming off where they found different things. Just make it look a little bit chaotic and homemade. Just adding some squiggles here and there and suddenly it looks like a nest. Isn't that cool? All right, let's add a little baby bird. A little baby bird friend. All right, we're gonna have a beak open wide facing up because it's hungry. So two triangles at the top. And give it a little nostril. Next, we're gonna draw a baby bird's face. So we're gonna draw a curving line with some zigzags. Yeah, a second one. And we're gonna bring this bottom part, right? So this will be the bottom of the head, but it's facing up. We're bring it around and curve it in just a little bit. And then we'll connect. And then we'll just have our little neck going down. And that's all we're gonna see. Just a little baby bird sitting there. And maybe, maybe it's, maybe it's sibling has just started to hatch. Just started to hatch. So we're just gonna see some little itty bitty cracks. Hasn't quite hatched yet. Starting to see that magic happen. 
Maybe I'll make it a little bit darker here so it looks like, oh, hey, maybe something's coming to come out there. So cute. Okay, I forgot to finish this baby bird. <laughs> Let's give it an eye. Big, big circle. Me in that circle, one big circle, and one small circle just like that. So cute. And we can color in the dark of the eye, leaving just those little teeny tiny circles. Nice and white. Oh, it's so cute. Give me a, oh, it's so cute. Right? Okay, draw a nice little oval under that eye, and oh my gosh, look at my baby bird. I love baby bird. I love all birds. I draw a lot of birds because I love birds. I'm obsessed. Anyway, distracted. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Once you're done drawing your baby bird, you're ready to color it. And of course, it's a baby bird, so they kind of have, well, they're just skin. Their feathers really haven't started coming out yet. Where's I'm looking for a, a more peachy color. A peachy color. Oh yeah, that peachy color. Kind of creepy, isn't it? Yeah. Anyways, so we'll do a nice little bald baby bird. It's freshly hatched. No feathers have come up yet. This is life for all of us. Egg or not. Okay, moving on. So grab your favorite colors and go ahead and color in your baby bird, your branch, and your nest. And maybe I need a little shadow on the head. And the eye. Perfect. And once you're done, your lovely baby bird drawing is done. Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So tag me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic. And I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic. YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode and I will see you in the next.